Hello friends, this is Miss Megan and I am going to show you guys some line activity ideas. Um, so I just basically I taped some lines on the floor and you can practice following the lines with your fingers. Um, you can take toys and put them on the line and then you can practice finding the toys from right to left or left to right. Um, can we hand-eye coordinate putting them on the lines in a row and talk about one, two, three in a row. We can work on counting. Um, there's lots of things we can do with just one little line on the floor. So we're scanning, we're counting, we're matching objects to the line so this is a good um, developmental activity we can practice. Um, my next line, I made it a little bit more complex by moving the lines up and down, kind of in a jig jag pattern. And so same thing, we can practice lining things up, following the lines with our fingers. You can do this on the tabletop. Um, we can talk about the bottom of the mountain, the top of the mountain, scanning from left to right again, but following this up-down pattern, or right to left even, and lining up um, animals that way. So, also can work on counting, which is pretty fun. And then the last one I have is um, letters. And if it was me, I'd make them super big, but if we're working on our letters or our numbers, you could tape numbers down on the floor. And just, um, you know, if this is the, the letter that your name starts with, you can practice tracing that, actually, or um, lining up toys. Let's cover up our letter with toys. And so again, we're using a lot of hand-eye coordination to line up the toys onto the line. We're learning our letters. We might be learning a number. If the number of the week is a number four, for example, then we could put four things on the number four. So I hope that these are good hand-eye coordination ideas for you guys, um, practicing scanning and all of that good stuff. And have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.